Hello guys, what's up? And um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Convergis mod for Dark Souls 3. Because uh, I know people have been having trouble um, with the new new version of Dark Souls 3. And I, myself, I tried to download this like, I don't know, like a week ago. And I was struggling. I, I went through all these things to try to find it. And literally no one had a tutorial on it. So I figured it out and I was like, alright, I guess I'll, I'll make one. Um... Because I know people can be confused, and I can understand that. So, well, first of all, you want to come to Nexus Mod. Go ahead and look up the Convergence. Click on it, and you'll be brought to be brought to this page with the description first. You want to go over to um, Files, and then go ahead and download the Convergence. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and download. I do have it downloaded, but I'll uh, hold on. Let me log in real quick. All right, so I logged in. Let me download it now. Okay, so go ahead and download this one. Um, I'm also gonna download. So you have to say that. I'm also gonna download the other one as well, just to show y'all. Um, now, now this one right here, this low requirements. Um, it's not necessary. The only reason to download it is if your PC. Um, is not very high performing. Um. And this will just help with making everything not, um, like basically make your, your game not crash. It makes everything like, you know, died down. So I'm also going to download that. It is not required though. Your PC, if you think your PC can handle it, don't download it because you won't get the full experience basically. So, um, yeah, so just let those download. Now, while those are downloading... I will say real quick, you are going to need a um, an extractor. So, either WinRAR or 7-Zip. I personally use WinRAR, but they are exactly the same. So, it doesn't matter which one you use, they're the same. Um, so, I, I can just go to the websites for those as well if you want. So, just look up WinRAR, just download, and then also for 7-Zip. 7-zip this one and then just download your version which is most likely most likely this one so just download that um yeah so i'll be back when they're downloaded all right guys my download is done i got here um so what we're gonna do is just open up to wherever you're going to mine went to download so open up the convergence first and go ahead on your desktop and go to new folder. Just name it whatever. It doesn't matter. Mine I already have here over here as you can see, but I'll just make a new one over here. And then now what you want to do, back out, open, open with right here. WinRAR for this one. And then which Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is you can either extract it into a new file or alternatively, since we made this file right here, go ahead and do that. Drag directly into the file you just made. Let that do its thing right there. I got see. Okay. And now that that is... Uh, now that's done. Go ahead and close this out. You can go ahead and delete this if you want. Okay. So now that you have these items in here. Now, if you want the lower system requirements, go ahead and open with WinRAR again. Close this. Now, go ahead and okay. take this, take the map, just the map one. Go ahead and take it, drag and drop into the convergence file all right so once you get to this page click replace close that out and now we have this so go ahead and go to steam open up steam go to library Go to Dark Souls, right click, click Properties, go to Local Files, click Browse, close this menu if you want, 
Alright, go down here. So here we have the Dark Souls local files. Open up the game. Now what you want to do is you want to drag click over, hold into here and then it's going to copy all over. I'm not going to do that because I already have it, like I said, in here. Um, and I already have a save, and I don't know if it's going to mess it up or not, so I'm just not going to mess with that. But basically, you're going to put that in there, and it's going to copy all the way over. Now, at this point, you have the mod in your game. Everything's ready. However, this current time, if you go and you, you know, say you click on, you click play, you now, your game will crash instantly. Um, it will not, it won't work. Nothing. So now what you have to do is I'm going to close this tab because it's no longer useful. I would keep, by the way, the folder that you made. I would just keep it just in case. If you want to delete it later, you know what files you have to delete out of here to be able to play vanilla again because you won't be able to play vanilla, obviously, with the mod in there. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead, come back to the Nexus page, go here, and click on their Discord. Okay? So after clicking on the Discord, go ahead and join it. I'm already in it, so I'm not going to join it. Come over here. Go into their, go into the Convergence mod. Go to FAQ Dark Souls 3. Click this link. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to download patch 1.15. Go ahead and download that. Won't take that long. It's not very, it doesn't, it's not very big. With that I'll close this Come back to files so you're gonna keep this like I said I kept this one open and then open up a new new file thing and go to go to downloads now you have this Dark Souls 3 right go to open with go to WinRAR and now you have Dark Souls 3.exe. Now what you're going to do, you can close this, into this game, what you're going to do is just drag, drop, directly into here. What that's going to do is that is going to replace your current Dark Souls um, file, your exe, so your actual application, your, your actual game, it's going to replace it with an older version of itself. So if you're not comfortable with this, um, then obviously you just can't play the mod because um, there's no other way to do it. You have to do an older version. And um, yeah, so just replace it. It'll automatically replace it. And then when you click play, you will be able to play the mod. Yeah, that is the that is the whole tutorial. That'll, that's that's everything. Now you have fully now you fully have the mod installed and you're able to play it. Um, I will say something though, if y'all are curious, um, the reason I'm pretty sure that the patch, like the certain patch that they put in place was one that when they got taken over, not really taken over, but it allowed, uh, the, the, the bug that allowed the hackers to able to get all your information through, um, through the game when you played online was that that patch that they put in was making the mods not able to be used because they would think of it as like a hacker type thing and they just doubled down like immediately i guess and didn't matter i mean normally you can't have mods on here anyway so pretty much um obviously disclaimers if you play online you will most likely get banned so don't play online with this mod um i mean there's no point you're supposed to enjoy it, you know, solo, so I don't. But that's basically everything. Um, uh, if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, I will probably be doing one on Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a lot easier, but I'll probably be doing one on that too, just because I also am playing the game and playing the mod. So I might just put that one out there too. But um, anyway, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.